Good evening, welcome to the cooking show. So today, tonight, I'm going to make slow cooked Australian steak and pumpkin and mash. I don't have any refrigeration. Uh, you know my other videos, I usually have something to do with my iTech World Power Stations. None of that is needed in this situation. The only thing that they did was charge the light, the LED light that is giving this room that I'm in light. Um, and obviously the phone as well. Um, but there's no actual power being charged up or anything at the moment. So how about that? So, okay, we'll get this and this. Now, this bag has this inside it. Um, usually it has a plastic wrap on it, but I've already taken that off. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it all in the bag. I'm not very good at this. But let me see if I can lean it up on something. All right. Lean it up on the water. Okay. So, this pad goes in the bag. So, it's inside this bag. Okay. These two items are both going into the bag as well. And now, I'm going to show you what happens. This bag is from Survival Supplies Australia, and they are awesome. Uh, they're about two ninety five, three ninety five, I think, per bag. And the food is about all up with the bag is about twenty eight dollars fifty five. But it's good. It's real food. It's not like gross. Um, so yeah, what I've got to do now that I put everything inside the bag, fill to this line. So it's about two three centimeters of water. So I've got to do that. Now that will activate the thing that I put inside, the pad thing. Okay, so let's see. I'll just lean it up. Now I do have the salt there because I need to have two items to put this bag between once I add the water. Okay, I also need something else to lean the camera up against. Yeah, so I'll lean the camera up against salt my my filming is still terrible but hopefully this is informative and instructive and exciting for you okay are we ready okay so we've got the bag I don't know I don't know where to hold it last time I held it I made a mistake <laughs> so I'm just just gonna put this here for a second okay I've got the water, that's the water that I'm just holding up there. And now the bag. You'll see a little tiny bit of water and then you'll see me racing to shut the, the top. Now there is on the top a ziplock. Now you've got to do that as quickly as possible. And in a second, you're going to understand why. So I'm going to put this going to lean up against the water now it might look like nothing is happening but believe me something's about to happen and it's pretty exciting can you hear that that is oh look at it it's like ooh, all the steam just coming out it's amazing and if you touch it, it's going to be hot. <laughs> so, yeah, it certainly is hot at the moment. So, in about 12 minutes' time, this will be ready. So you just literally leave it like this. But you've got to sort of lean it between two things. So I've leaned it against my water, which is a bad idea because I'm thirsty at the moment, and some salt. Um, so 12 minutes. So what I'll do is I will leave this here somewhere and film I don't know maybe I won't maybe I'll just talk I haven't done much this week because I've had a bit of a really weird week but I'll tell you about my week um, a, about March last year there were some tickets that went on sale to one of my favorite artists who was coming to Perth so don't usually spend much money because I usually don't have any money but I decided to buy a VIP sound check experience to see Darren Hayes. 
on the 31st of um, and you can fast forward this if you're just looking for the uh, the cooking video just fast forward it and at the end I'll show you the steak and the, the mashed potato you don't really oh look at that look at that it's cooking it's hot Oh, I don't think anyone wants to hear about my week, but anyway, look, I'm going to tell you um, while I focus on those bubbles. Um, yes, yeah, so I got these tickets. They were almost what, uh, $400.41 or something. Um, and then I found out that the house I've been in for five years was going to get sold, or well, it was sold. So I was going to have to be out sometime, but we weren't sure. Uh, we were hoping that I would be oh. out by <laughs> February the 1st or 2nd, leaving me time to see oh. this concert. But it didn't actually happen. Um, tried to resell my ticket on the Ticketek site after every other sort of option that I looked at sort of wasn't going to work. Like I was looking at this $280 a week place in this caravan park because it was only a three month lease. I thought, oh, I'll do this and I can do, you know, see my show, see some friends who are doing shows in Perth at the moment and all of that. Um, but yeah, I went there and it was horrific. It was really not good. Um, I have a, I have a, a Dropbox set of photos if you want to have a look at this place that they wanted to rent out for $280 a week. It was a absolute shocker. Um, anyway, so that didn't work. I wasn't able to stay in Perth and get a hotel because that was too expensive. <laughs> it cost over five grand to move, plus all the associated expenses of moving and, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's not good. Um, and, you know, I'm not rich, but I had a little bit of money saved up. Um, so, yeah, I've been in town since the 6th of January. Um, and since then, I've... My card hasn't worked a few times at the shop, the shop, and you've got a, there's only one spot you can sort of check your balance, and I'm like, oh. So hopefully that won't happen to me again, because <laughs> usually at least there's money in my account. Um, yeah, but not this time. Um, my final electricity bill and gas bill was about mm, $380 altogether. So considering I got those four little iTech World i 300s and two solar panels for just over fifteen hundred dollars and they'll last an awfully long time i reckon i've got a good deal and more people should look at the portable power stations now i will be doing a better video on the power station which shows you how they work these are the i300s which are well basically they've kept me fed and they've kept me um, giving me light <laughs> um, and so forth since I got here. Um, I am getting a 1300 watt power station soon thanks to WA Nils. Now they do interest free loans for low income earners up to $2,000 for household items. Um, still going. Um, so I thought I would like a 1300p iTech World uh, power station please and they were on special like really 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 on special um so i got it for of oh course 1900 and something so it's all alone and nils pays them directly you don't get any nils money if you if you are approved they go to they ask you to get you an invoice and then they pay the vendor once you've been approved now there's a lot of paperwork um but if you can just hold deep breaths and calm through all the frustration something good will happen at the end hopefully um i'll talk more about that in another video but yeah just letting you know that there'll be really good videos of the i300 better than this uh handheld one <laughs> um and then there'll be another one about a month after I've I've had the, the new one, um, which will tell you all about that. And hopefully more of my adventures. It's just been an exhausting week because the loan thing was really frustrating to try and 
find all the stuff and do all this and grab all the extra stuff. And they are on a they're on the phone and Fifi's going nuts and oh, and then I'm looking for something else on the computer and it was just too much. Plus my uh, my Darren Hayes ticket. Oh my gosh, I lost four hundred dollars. I gave away the ticket for free. Um, the lucky person that went thankfully sent me some videos. So I got to sit at home, eat a full um, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, chocolate fudge brownie. Because of course I don't have any uh, freezing or... Oh. See all that smoke's coming out? Can you see? I don't have any fridge or freezer or anything so I had to of course eat it all at once and watch Survivor and watch poor George get injured terribly as well as Jackie on this ridiculous um, shouldn't have been a part of the challenge thing. If you haven't seen it, it's in episode one and it's just... Ugh. Horrible, but anyway, um, so I did that, and all the while I was getting videos coming through because there was a VIP sound check experience, so you got to go earlier in the day and do a question and answer, and you know, just a bit special. And I was in row five as well, well I wasn't, but my person I outsourced it to was in row five. Um, yeah, I know I can edit videos so that I don't ramble. I can be like, oh yeah, this is, I'm coming back 20 minutes, 12 minutes later. But uh, I haven't made a video, so I thought I'd ramble. I am a bit tired. I've just taken Fifi for a walk. The first time that we've been sort of, um, I haven't been up the other end of town, which is where the um, Ampole, it used to be the Caltex, and the BP is. I didn't get quite to the BP. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Um... But yeah, we had two dogs. We were walking past Welcome Park and they decided to not make us feel welcome by coming to try and eat us. But I managed to get rid of them. And then on the way back in the next street, I saw one come towards us again. And I was like, oh. But we're home and we're safe and we're cooking dinner. So I'm going to get a plate. I just need to put this where you can see it. I mean, it's not a very good video. I uh, don't know. Where can I stand it? Hmm. Nothing's very good. Come with me. There's no light because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, I'm still cleaning up. So just uh, excuse me while I go get a plate. This is darkness. Um, that light that I've got in that room is really, really good. Um, the light that it projects. But it only really works in that room really well. Because that room was the only room that was sort of done up somewhat. Um, by some people that decided to help me out. Um, and yeah, the, the white of the LED light, which is what's making that so bright in that room... Um, it, it, it just reflects nicely off the roof whereas the other ones some of my, some of my rooms don't even have roof, have ceiling <laughs> ceilings um, and if they do they're grey or they're not like white colours so um, yeah I'm just diving for some uh, cutlery that I can eat this with so at the moment I think I've got a knife Knife and fork. Okay. We must be almost done. It's about 14 minutes since uh, I started making this video and I blah, 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 blah. Went on and on <laughs> while I was explaining. Um, Fifi's chilled out now. Um, okay, so we're walking back into the light. Oh, that's a secret room. Oh. Um, some power stations. These are my babies. Um, some books to list on eBay. Um, okay. Plus some DVDs. Do you want to buy some DVDs? Uh, drive. So the little light, well, they can't see it real well because it's on. It's a uh, LED and it's about the size of a phone. So pointed at the roof. And this, this room has no other light in it. That's that's my light. 
Um, the only problem with that light is that um, I can't have it plugged in charging while I'm using it to power it. It has to be charged first. And the other thing, um, like it's a really good size, it works really well, like it lights up this room like anything. Like you saw how dark the house was, there's no other light. Um, I do have some other lights, but they're more ambient. Um, so, yeah, I need to find a light that is like this, that does this, but that I can have charging. Like my fan, I can plug into my little power bank. I'll just show you, like... I've got two power banks. One is a larger capacity of ours than this one, but they both will allow me to plug in my fan. Same brand, Arlick. Arlick. Um, and the fan just plugs into the power bank. So I can have my two power, power banks charged by the i300s that I showed you, my cute little babies up there. Um, and... Then I can plug in the fan or whatever. So I need a light or lights that can plug in um, to this, or I can have plugged into something while I'm um, while I'm using them. Because these say they they last for four hours, but they don't. Well, up to four hours. Um, this is the highest um, mode on them. There's about six different modes, including a flashing red one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't last for four hours, that's for sure. Unless it's maybe one of the lower ones, which is no good. Um, so yeah, find me a light that is just like this, about this size, that does exactly this, and I'll be happy. Or alternatively, I need to buy a few more of these Alec lights and just have them charged up and replace each one as I go. Um, which is also doable. Um, okay, time to undo this. Okay. So I'm just going to move the water and I'm going to try and position the plate so that you can see it. Okay. Ah, you can see. Ah. ah, there we go. So you can see the plate. Now look, it might look like slop, but I can tell you it's just delicious. Um, I'm going to show you some other meals that are completely different to this, that are dehydrated. Um, another video, and all they need is hot, is boiling water to be added to them and left, just like this one. Um, and 12 minutes later or so, you've got a meal. Um, and they're really delicious. They don't necessarily look delicious. They might look a little bit like slop. But they are, whatever they put in them, they are absolutely tasty and wonderful. And they also don't require refrigeration. So I'll show you that in another video. Okay, so let's show you what is inside. So I'm just about to open the bag. Okay, so I'm getting the stuff the box the, the the things are coming coming out sorry about my bad filming um, oh and I might show you I want to show you inside so this is inside it expands and does weird stuff and that's how all the heat comes you can see the phone's fogging up so that is done you can't use it again it goes in the bin um Now these, 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 these things tear open at the top and I'm so crap at doing it, but let's, let's hope. <sighs> Mashed potato first. Okay, so I'm just ripping it with my teeth. Okay, and then I'm just trying to get it all out. Mm, yum, yum. Trust me, this is delicious. Um, it's not like your, your, your Deb potato, even though that's fine um, as well. It's it's really nice. Um, 
this is like I said it's a premium side of things that other meal that I told you about the the uh, dehydrated ones they're nine ninety five each and they're I think a very good value because they also have veggies included and everything um, and they're really light because when you add the water and leave them um, they pretty much tr almost triple in size so it's pretty amazing um so all right potato now it's steak time uh, as always can't rip the thing open properly don't really want to get scissors uh, see I'm no good at this gonna get some scissors hang five I need to be quick scissors <coughs> yep <coughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm not editing it. Um, just fast forward it. Put it on uh, triple speed. That's what I do when people are faffing on like me. Watch this. Oh my god, look at this steak. Delicious. Delicious. My dog is like, I want some steak. Okay. Okay, so that is a mashed potato and steak and the gravy is delicious. And that's my darling Fifi. I love you. I love you. I'll give you some food. Oh, and there's my uh, solar panels in the background. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, have a good night. Um, yep.